The Philadelphia 76ers officially have a Tobias Harris problem. I used to feel bad for him just a little bit. I used to think, oh, Joel Embiid is taking all of the shots, whether it be Maxi or Harden. There's just not enough shots left over for him at the end of the day. But now I see that it's not that there's not enough shots for him. The 76ers don't want him shooting the ball. And for very good reason. I don't know what Tobias Harris does above average. He is an extremely, extremely, extremely average player. And that's not good enough as a third option who gets paid $40 million a year. It is baffling to me that somebody, likely a savvy businessman who's a billionaire, agreed to pay this man $40 million a year over multiple years. It makes zero sense to me. This contract has not made sense to me for a very long time. And I'm curious to see what his next contract is going to be. That's going to be my most exciting or most anticipated signing of the offseason, aside from anybody else who's a free agent this upcoming year. I want to see how much are they going to pay Tobias Harris now? I don't know. I think this is, will be his third possible large contract, should be his last contract. But I'm curious to see who and how much are they going to pay Tobias Harris? Because if he gets $30 million a year, Plus, from anybody, he has some type of dirt on Adam Silver or some some owner in the in the NBA. Because at this point, it's ridiculous. There's no reason this man should be making any more than 10 million, 10 to 15 million dollars a year, somewhere around the mid-level exception. There's no excuse for it. Like this man has all the capabilities of being a productive NBA player next to an all-star guard and Tyrese Maxey, who is playing out of his mind and a MVP player in Joel Embiid. He should have no reason to not be productive when these two get as much attention as they do on a night to night basis. And he's still not able to capitalize off of it time and time and time again, especially in this playoff series. Joel Embiid is out there on one leg. They're shooting this man up with God knows what. Tyrese Maxey came into the game questionable, um, sick because he was sick and still end up playing through that sickness. And all Tobias Harris can muster up is 10 measly points that were all created by Tyrese Maxey. 10 points isn't enough. How, how are you paid $40 million a year and you can't get more than 10 points and they are out absolutely mauling your two-star players? I've heard people all day, all day long talk about, oh, Kelly Oubre got to step up. Oh, Kyle Lowry got to step up. Oh, what about Nicholas Batum? No, I don't care about those guys. They don't make enough money for me to criticize them. Kelly Oubre is on a minimum. Uh, uh, Nicholas Batum is on a minimum. Kyle Lowry was a, uh, what do you call it? He, he got signed halfway through the middle of the season because he got waived by somebody else. I don't care about them. They're going to be up and down. Those players, I expect some some fluctuation in how they play. There should be not there should not be too much fluctuation in Tobias Harris's play for the amount of money that he's paid and the, the role that he has on this team. You should be the third best player every single night. And last night, if you matched anything that uh, Dante DiVincenzo or um, was it Josh Hart gave the team, gave the Knicks, you guys win that game last night. And probably win the first two games. If you give them anything remotely close to what Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart are giving the Knicks, New York Knicks. But for some reason, it's just not happening. 